And Manweller referenced the Kavanaugh situation in a statement this evening, saying, quote, as the Kavanaugh hearings have shown, there is no limit on how far back in time one can dig into such allegations. He goes on to say that he will serve out the remainder of his current term, but says he doesn't intend to serve another term beyond that, indicating he will resign next year before the 2019 session begins. This comes after Republican leaders in the state house called called for his resignation after a report of another allegation of sexual misconduct surfaced last week. Northwest News Network and Austin Jenkins reported that one of Manweller's former high school students in Idaho says she had a sexual relationship with him in the 1990s when she was 17 years old. Now, the accuser did not report the allegations to police at that time, and Manweller has denied the accusation. However, he's faced similar allegations of inappropriate behavior with students in the past. He was fired from his role as a political science professor at Central Washington University back in August following an investigation that found a, quote, pattern of unprofessional and inappropriate behavior. Again, Manweller has denied those allegations and is now suing the university for wrongful termination. But this all comes as Manweller is up for re-election and a new PAC just launched to try and defeat him based on the allegations. And while he said he does not intend to serve another term, his name cannot be removed from the ballot at this point, this close to Election Day. So if he does win in November in his heavily Republican district, Republican leaders would then have to appoint someone to fill his seat next year. The House Republican leader currently, J.T. Wilcox, told King 5 tonight that he believes Manweller is making the right choice. Again, he had asked for Manweller's resignation last week in light of the new report that surfaced. Back to you.